I'm a third generation Southern California guy, born and raised in Downey, and I went to UCLA. I was fairly successful at a young age as a stockbroker for 15 years, and so I got to that point in my life where uh, I wanted to give back uh, and was uh, involved in uh, homeless related things. As my involvement matured in that area, I wanted to get involved with something more youth oriented. And around the same time, the gang issue was becoming a big issue really all over the country. And it was happening here in West Side Costa Mesa. And I called a friend of mine, Jerome Karcher, who's a Catholic priest at St. Joachim's. And I said, is there something we could be doing as churches to help the mothers in this neighborhood? What made this stand out was the mothers in this neighborhood organized to take the neighborhood back from the gang. But one of the things they said was, we need a safe, quiet place for our kids to study after school. And so Maria Alvarez, who was one of the mothers, said, I've got an apartment opening downstairs, move it in there and I'll watch over it. We founded Shalimar in 1994 and then we founded Think Together as an organization in 1997. So I was the volunteer board chair for a number of years, first part-time and then in January 2004, full-time. I just was so passionate about the work and, and I saw the difference that we could make. Think is an acronym for teaching, helping, and inspiring and nurturing kids. And then together is kind of the call to action. The first day we had 100 kids at our door and we have this one small apartment. So we rented multiple apartments and we divide it up between an elementary age program and a teen program. So we'll have tutors with six or seven kids working on specific grade level homework or academic support. In one of the bedrooms we have a reading laboratory and so we have a reading program and then we have kind of a library in the other side. Then you've got some staff that's here every day and then the continuity with the parents and the kids and the volunteers typically come once or twice a week. So there's a common base of support. You think kids, uh, more school after school, more learning, think, you know, I don't want to do this. But actually, uh, they're eager. They see their friends here. There's a sense of community. They're getting help. It's building their confidence. So it's almost a community center. But then while they're there, you've got them focused on their future and college and the pathway and, and the academic support. It creates a very positive environment. From this one neighborhood, we've sent over 400 kids to college, and we've had 150 kids graduate from college. And we have architect, engineer, teachers, we have an Emmy award-winning TV producer, first medical school student, and this last fall we had our first student get into Harvard. So we saw by building a middle-class support system around these low-income kids in this neighborhood that they could achieve at the same rate as anybody else. We had some success here early on, and we got the Orange County Nonprofit of the Year Award from both Disney and the Orange County Register. Originally, it was Shalimar was funded by St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. Some of their support was replaced by private foundations, so Pemco, Randy Draper, their family foundation, a very important group called Women of Vision that have been long-term supporters. Think Together has now grown. For after school, we have over 400 locations statewide in California, now serving 150,000 kids. We believe that people were designed to give and to serve, and they're happier when they're giving and serving. It's really helped educate us, and it's changed our perception of the community and who we are as people. As communities, we get isolated in our own little enclaves. We've learned there's a different reality coming together, and so we think that it knocks down some of those political or philosophical differences. People can agree on supporting and helping good things for children in their communities. It's been incredibly inspiring. More than the sense of satisfaction, it's created this great sense of urgency that now we have some solutions and we want to just do more and more so more kids benefit.